My name is Maria Rubelakis. I'm an assistant professor of developmental biology at the Medical School of National and Kapodistria University of Athens. I'm going to introduce a new e-learning course on stem cells and regenerative medicine with academic professors myself and Dr. Maria Gazzulli, assistant professor of molecular biology at the same department. This e-learning course provides an introduction to the biology of stem cells and introduces the main aspects of regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine in general seeks to devise new therapies for patients with severe injuries or chronic diseases. To this end, stem cell biology and regenerative medicine introduces novel strategies to replace or regenerate cells, tissues or organs. These strategies include stem cell-based therapy, biomaterials, nanomaterials, scaffolds seeded with cells. The e-learning course on stem cell biology and regenerative medicine is a unique course at the forefront of future therapies in order to repair damaged tissues or organs. It has a clinical focus and incorporates basic aspects of cell therapy and tissue engineering. Students will have the unique opportunity to learn about new, up-to-date technologies applicable in modern therapeutic approaches such as stem cell applications, nanomedicine, tissue engineering. It also possesses a unique understanding of how the body's own repair mechanisms can restore damaged cells. The e-learning course is open to international and Greek graduates holding at least a degree in medicine or a biological, biomedical or biochemical subject or in a, field, in a related field. This course is in English and the candidates should speak English fluently. The duration of the course is 10 weeks and offers a framework of 10 units. The course is interactive and challenges students to further improve their communications, communication, writing and presenting skills by practice tests for each unit. The first unit discusses the current and the future perspectives of regenerative medicine. The second unit focuses on the biological and molecular aspects of regenerative medicine. Embryonic stem cell types such as embryonic stem cells and induced pluripotent stem cells are described in the third unit. The fourth unit focuses on the stem cells derived from fetal tissues such as amniotic fluid, umbilical cord or other embryonic tissues such as placenta. The fifth unit includes information for the major adult stem cell types such as hematopoietic, mesenchymal, neural, muscle or hepatic stem cells. The use of biomaterials in regenerative medicine is discussed in the sixth unit, whereas the role of nanotechnology in regenerative medicine is introduced in the seventh unit. Examples of cellular therapy applications are discussed in the eighth unit, Unit 9 describes examples of tissue engineering therapeutic approaches. And finally, Unit 10 focuses on the regulation and ethics related to stem cells and regenerative medicine. More information is also available online at the e-learning site. Thank you very much for your attention.